In this segment, we will cover how to set up both the software and the CE7000 to cut printed images using the Datalink barcode system. This feature of the CE7000 simplifies the print and cut process by using barcodes. Barcodes are used to direct the CE7000 to the name of the cut file containing information regarding the registration mark locations and cutting path for that design. Once the file name is obtained, it will look for the file either on the USB thumb drive or from the Cutting Master 4 cutting queue. While Adobe Illustrator will be used in this instance, the general steps are the same when using Corel Draw as well. This job on the screen shows an array of decals we will print and cut. To make this work effectively, the artboard has to be resized to fit the artwork, along with the registration marks and barcodes. The reason for this is that Cutting Master 4 uses the artboard dimensions in the placement of the barcodes and registration marks. In other words, if we kept the artboard size as it is now, the barcodes and registration marks would be placed on the outer corners of the artboard. This in turn wastes space. The first step then is to tighten the artboard so that it fits the artwork by clicking the artboard tool in the tools palette. In the Artboard Tool Option palette on the other side of the screen, let's click on the Preset pull-down menu, and then select Fit to Artwork Bounds. This will resize the artboard to the size of the design, as you can see here. The next step is to extend the top and bottom margins of the artboard so that the barcodes and registration marks can all fit within the artboard. The margins have to be at least an inch and a half or more from both the top and bottom edges. So once again, in the Artboard Options palette, click on the Height value, and set the value to 3 inches more than the current height. Notice now that the Artboard has an inch and a half extra margin on both the top and bottom. The Artboard is set, so let's exit this tool and create the barcodes and registration marks by clicking on the File pull-down menu hovering the mouse over Cutting Master 4, clicking on Registration Marks, and this opens the Registration Mark Generator. Here we'll make sure the Registration Mark settings are correct, and then click on the Barcode checkmark to open those settings. The first option is the Barcode Type. This pull-down menu has two selections, Standard and Roll Media. Standard is generally used for a flatbed cutter. In this case, we'll choose Roll Media, since the CE7000 is a roll feed cutter. Below that is the Image Area setting. This indicates the placement of the registration marks relative to the edge of the artboard. Notice there are two choices, Recommended and Maximum. In this case, we'll choose the Recommended choice. The next setting is Barcode Location. This gives us three choices to place the barcodes on the front edge, rear edge, or both edges. In most cases, you will find that using both edges allows the printed media to be loaded on the cutter facing either direction, forward or backwards. This becomes apparent when continuously cutting decals using a roll. In either case, we recommend choosing both edges for barcode location. Just below is the setting for the barcode length. You can stretch out the barcode in cases where the sensor can read them better, such as if you plan to use lamination. If you want to place a note, such as an in-house job code, you can enter it in this area here. This section is where to set the margins between the barcodes and the edge of the artboard. So having margins is generally recommended. Clicking on Get Printer Margins obtains the artboard size and correctly sets a margin between the barcode and the edge of the media. As a note, try to get in the habit of clicking Get Printer Margins before continuing. Once the settings are adjusted, click OK. Once again, the barcodes are now placed on both edges of the design, ensuring that no matter how the media is loaded, the FC9000 will find the barcodes and process jobs correctly. The design can now be sent to the printer using your RIP. The next step is to create the cut file, but before we do that, we have to determine the location it will be saved to. 
If you plan to have the FC9000 get the file from the Cutting Master 4 job queue, there are a couple of settings that have to be adjusted in both the software and on the FC9000. Let's open or switch to the Cutting Master 4 job queue and enable it to communicate with the FC9000 data link. This is done by clicking on the data link button on the top of the window here. Once clicked on, this message appears. It is just making sure that there is not more than one cutter connected. Just click yes, showing that you want to communicate through the data link server. Notice that there is a red outline around the button, indicating that the data link server is on and will allow jobs in the queue to be obtained by the FC9000. Next is to change the FC9000 data link settings. We will be communicating through a USB cable, therefore we have to let the FC9000 know to look there. This is done by pressing the pause menu key, pressing the right arrow key, pressing 1 for destination, then pressing 2 for server USB, press enter, and then press the pause menu key again to go to the home window. Let's switch back to Adobe Illustrator and create the cut file in the queue by clicking on the file pull-down menu, hovering over Cutting Master 4, and click Cut Plot. This opens the file or the design in the Cut Plot window. Let's go ahead and turn off the print layer. In the main tab, check the Hold in List option. Now we just click Send, and the cut job is placed in the Cutting Master 4 job queue and is waiting for the FC9000. Go ahead and load the print onto the CE7000. Once loaded, start the operation by simply pressing the barcode button. The cutter will ask that the tool head be positioned near the black start bar of the barcode. When looking at the barcode, notice that right next to it, there is a black start bar. In order to read the barcode, the FC9000 scanner looks for that black start bar, which then helps it locate the barcode. Therefore, when positioning the tool head, we have found that it's best to position it about a half an inch in front of the black start bar. Once the tool head has been positioned, press enter on the control panel. The cutter will scan for the black start bar and will immediately scan the barcode. Once again, the barcode provides the file name containing the cut data. Once it finds the file in the Cutting Master 4 job queue, it starts to process the job by first finding the registration marks, and then cutting the contour. Let's do this again, except this time we'll use the USB thumb drive to store the cut file. We first have to change the data link barcode system on the FC9000 so that it knows to search for the cut file once it reads the barcode. Once again at the control panel, press the pause menu key, press the right arrow key, press the 1 key for destinations, press the 1 key again to choose the USB drive, press enter to accept the change, and then press the pause menu key to go back to the default screen. Next, let's open or switch to the Cutting Master 4 job queue and disable the data link setting by clicking it once and the red outline disappears. Now let's create the cut file on the thumb drive and switch to Adobe Illustrator. Click on the file pull-down menu, hover over Cutting Master 4 and click Cut Plot. The print layer is already off, so let's save the file to the thumb drive by clicking on Save to File instead of Send. Choose the location of the thumb drive, which in many cases will automatically list the thumb drive if there is one plugged into your computer. Click Save, and then click Done. We can then remove the thumb drive from our computer and plug it into the FC9000. To start the operation, simply press the barcode button. The cutter will ask that the tool head be positioned near the black start bar of the barcode as we did before. Once the tool head has been positioned, press enter on the control panel. The cutter will scan for the black start bar and will quickly scan the barcode. Once it sends the file, 
It transfers the registration mark and cut information from the USB thumb drive to the cutter. It then uses this information to find the registration marks. And then contour cuts the printed designs. Needless to say, this operation, using either method, is a very efficient way of contour cutting printed images. If you want to see the Datalink barcode be even more productive, review the video Using Datalink Barcode System in a Continuous Operation.